When I do pieces that reflect the Bronx, it's like a way of me showing a part of myself without showing myself. There was just such a vibrant, such an energy in the streets, in the way people interact here in the Bronx. There's so many things in the world that inspire me. It's hard to not be inspired. Sometimes it could be something as simple as a color combination. It could be graffiti, it could be a street sign with some rust. It could be a butterfly. Preserve and protect all species. The Bronx Zoo was the one monument we had here that was ours. Those big green gates were always burned into my head. My mother was a teacher, so I remember like going with her school, I went on school trips. I just liked being here. Was any, any excuse to be at the Bronx Zoo was a good one. Lions, tigers, bears, giraffes. Boogie Down at the Bronx Zoo represents the Bronx Zoo paying homage to the Bronx. Don't forget, bring paper. Just to be asked to come in and work with the Bronx Zoo, let alone the animals. It's a tremendous honor. It seemed like a perfect opportunity to get a chance to learn something else about myself and do some work that I had never even thought about doing before. I used to do these competitions called art battles, and we did these collaborative battles live in front of a crowd. They would pair people that may not even know each other. I learned a lot about my own process, and it also taught me about other artists' processes. I think that was one of the things that helped to take my art to a new place. Trees, animals, and MCs. The animals start the piece, and then I'm doing a portrait of that animal over the piece. So although it's a really crazy idea on one level, it fits right in hand with a concept that special things happen when you experience that kind of a relationship. I knew I wanted to make sure that, that I captured the animal that painted the piece with the work that they did and trying to blend the two. I'm going to work with a lot of medium so that I can seal in what they've done, starting with all acrylics on this and then start to build the tones on top of it, try and let as much of what the sea lions painted show through as possible. I think not enough people get to see the actual process of art happening. I love that I'm going to be able to be here live painting in front of people because I like to paint in front of people and I like that interaction and it makes me feel really good that my work is going to help facilitate helping animals around the world. Just hoping to hold up my end of the bargain. <laughs>